Hello and welcome to GTA 5. I'm David and Ark, and today we are back in the family friendly mod. However, one of the requests that I had was to figure out how you could have cops in the game while still keeping it family friendly. And there's a, I can get close so and by that what I mean is I can get cops in the game as you see I have a wanted level uh, we will eventually see cops show up here let me find somebody wait there we go um, there's a weird problem uh, as you see that I was in the cone but the cop like I don't know didn't see me so <laughs> I don't know what happened there um, but you can certainly get the police attention, especially when you rip a door off the side of the car. That'll, that'll do it. Um, but, uh, in order to trigger a wanted level, you have to either, uh, hit a police car pretty hard or like I did rip a door off or something. Or the easiest way I found is if you attempt to run over a pedestrian now, in the family friendly mod, you won't actually run them over. They just kind of bounce up over your car. But if you, ouch, if you do it fast enough, um, then, or enough times, then that will trigger the uh, police uh, wanted level. So as we see here, the police are shooting at me. However, he just comes over and arrests me. I am busted so with this modification to the any file the i and i file um, there are a couple of things that can happen you can either uh, get wasted or you can be busted so i am going to talk about what some of those settings are so that you can go into the family family friendly i and i file and make these changes and then you too can have police cars in gta 5 family friendly awesome stuff all right let's take a look at that all right so in the i and i file under the player options there are several things that you'll have to go in and change and or make sure they say what i've got here so you have police ignore player you need to have that to zero by the way zero means don't do that and one means do that so we do not want the police to ignore the player so zero everyone ignore the player i put that at zero as well that generally means that the other pedestrians uh might attack you or come after you um, but i think i had to put that at zero even for the cops to uh pay attention to you all right clear the wanted uh, clear player wanted level uh, you want that to be zero so that you get a wanted level dispatch cops for player you need that to be a one so that you actually get cops to come after you clear the area of cops you want that to be zero otherwise uh, if you dispatch the cops but you tell it to clear the area of cops the cops will be dispatched but then they'll disappear before they get to you so that defeats the purpose the player can be dragged out of the car that is how you can get busted so you definitely want the player to be able to be dragged out of the car then you have player invincible equals zero basically that's turning off god mode and player can be damaged equals one meaning that the player can take damage um and essentially, um, the difference between them or, or how they work together, um, player can be damaged. What that really means is that uh, in the animations, you see the player getting hurt. It doesn't actually mean the player is getting hurt. It just means it looks like the player is getting hurt. The player invincible equals zero means the player will get hurt. All right. So there is those uh, settings right there you want to make sure that those are set and then we still have some more settings to go so let's move on to the next set of settings here okay under the settings for uh, invincibility and can take damage there's another little section here that you have to make sure that you fix and that is this section here as to um, what kind of damage is the player susceptible to so you want to make sure player equals bulletproof is zero, fireproof zero, explosion proof zero, collision proof zero, and 
melee proof zero. By setting each of those to zero, that means that they can be hurt. Excuse me. They can be hurt by bullets. They can be hurt by fire, by explosions, etc. Okay. So you just want to make sure that those are all set to zero. Now we still have some more settings to go. Let's check out some of the other settings here in the INI file. All right, we have a section called the pedestrian settings or pedestrian options. And this covers things like remove all ped weapons. That's zero, meaning that they need to have weapons. Otherwise the cops can't shoot at you. Block melee with animation equals zero. Can attack friendly equals one. Create random cops equals one and peds like you and won't flee equals zero. You've got to have all of those so that the uh, police will in fact come after you. Now, some of these settings you may not have to have, but I'm just saying that in my game, when I set all of these options, then the police were able to uh, come after me and take me down and all that good stuff. Now, we have another option that we have to do. There's a section called both options. And in there, there is a section there that says can be targeted. And yes, that is how it's spelled in the INI file. And you must set that to one as well, because that tells the game that the cops can actually come after you. And I believe that is what also sets it so that the cops will chase you in their cars. Otherwise, um, they'll if you're in their area then uh they kind of come after you but as soon as you leave the area they're like oblivious to the fact you were ever there so <laughs> i don't know it was really weird anyway those are each of the settings that i had to enable and or disable in order for the game to still be mostly family friendly but still have police in the game so check that out there and while playing around with the family friendly mod and trying to figure out how to make the police work, uh, one of the things I also wanted to see was can you actually escape from the police uh, once they are chasing you? You know, how, how much of this will play out as if uh, it were happening in the standard version of GTA 5? And and I'll tell you, um, yeah, basically if you find a place to camp out and or if you put the pedal to the metal and head for the hills, outrun the cops, eventually uh, the timer will run out and you're free and clear. So awesome, man. I'm so glad that uh, you guys asked me to figure this out. <laughs> and how do you park your car like that? I couldn't do that again if I wanted to, but there you go. He's <laughs> squeezed in, man. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Michael. Uh, anyhow, uh, thank you so much for asking about how to do this. Um, and so, uh, because I, it took me quite a while to figure out exactly the combination of settings in order to make it to where the police could be in the game, but it still remain for the most part family friendly. There are probably a couple of these settings that you could, uh, turn off or turn on uh, where it would still have the police and be even more family friendly. For example, I don't know, maybe if you um, tried playing around with the ped weapons settings or some of the other settings, you might be able to have the police come after you without drawing their weapons. I don't know. When I tried to do that, they all just kind of stood around like they wanted to attack me, but couldn't. It was a little, it was a little weird. Um, but again, uh, you know, you can you can play around with some of the settings, see how they fit your need and desire for your level of quote family friendliness. You can check that out. If you do come up with kind of some cool combinations for things, uh, let me know. Uh, you can you can try to leave those down in the comment section. Um, if that doesn't work, then, um, I don't know, we'll have to figure out some other way. Uh, I'll tell you what, actually, if that doesn't work, uh, see if you can uh, head over to my Facebook page and uh, paste, uh, just uh, make a post or leave a comment over there on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash David and uh, we can leave those there if uh, YouTube doesn't like you leaving comments with 
uh, the different settings. I don't know why it wouldn't, but you just never know. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Hope this helps some of you uh, get some more out of your family-friendly mod here in GTA 5. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time that we play GTA 5. Have a great day. Hey, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you'll know when new vids get posted. I'd appreciate it if you liked and shared the video too. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Hero of God, GamerGall, for supporting me on Patreon. Hey, I've got a couple of videos here you might be interested in. You can check those out and, well, we can hang out for a bit more here on David and Art. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.